Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Market Musings with Watan Abey. My name is Pinja Prasta, and uh, like every day today, we are going to present to you some interesting stats. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, just quickly go through it. But before moving ahead, I would like to discuss more about the stats that has been presented by Options IQ. So uh, almost daily, or we can say that uh, whenever there is a big event, like today, uh, we have. Uh, uh, earning results for ITC and HUL. So Options IQ uh, will be presenting the stats here. So if you subscribe, all you have to do is just subscribe to this channel uh, to get on timely uh, such statistics on real time basis. Um, yeah, so let me just uh, go to today's uh, stock market highlights. So today's uh, trading idea here is this that if you shot at the money plus 100 call to the nearest weekly, nearest 100 strike one day uh, before expiry uh, in Nifty uh, for T plus 1. So the stats here says that since Jan 23 onwards, there were 41 such instances out of his 35 wins, which is around 85 percentage of winning. Um, Average expectation here is 9 points. Max loss was uh, uh, 59 points, which was on uh, 19th of July. Um, so if you would have played around the strategy, you would have uh, made 350 points uh, versus the benchmark of 1628, which is around 21 percentage on YTD basis. 1 by P value is more than 20, which means that the da uh, data is statistically significant. And... Uh, Profit factor here is uh, 2.74, which means for every $1 you lost, you would have made around $2.74. Uh, if we see here, from Jan till October, uh, three out of uh, 10 months were in losses. Max profit was in the month of February, followed by August. So, uh, yeah, that's the stats uh, presented by Options IQ for you. Moving further to... Uh, in global indices, we can see all the frontline indices are down. Dow Jones is down by around 332 points. s and is down by around 58 points. And NASDAQ is down by around two, uh, 219 points. If Nifty is down by more than 100 points, uh, it does indicate a gap down start for the Indian Nifty as well. Uh, in commodity section, we can see that the gold is... Uh, uh, is up by around 1 percentage, 1.43 percentage, uh, whereas silver is up by around 0.41 percentage. Then crude is at 86.96 uh, dollars per barrel. In FI DI data, we can see that the DIs have uh, bought in cash market, whereas FIs have sold in cash market. Uh, FI and derivatives, they have gone short in index futures and options. And overall, there is a selling of around 29,955 crores. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it in market musings from my side. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and have a good day.